Oh, dude. Uh, yeah, Thank you, guys. So now I'm gonna switch over to the phone because uh, not every every shop out there actually likes when you film inside there. So this is less, just a little bit less suspicious. And yeah, so let's see what we can get. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Okay guys, so today we're out here with Hanru, who's busy opening the crap for us and yeah, we're gonna get a little bit dirty today with some colored paints. We're out in Bryanston Forest because I thought the kind of symmetry, well, just the kind of like look of the trees would actually look cool with the photo with the color, the brown muted colors with a very bright, uh, colorful of the power, like the powder we're using. Um, yeah, so I have no idea really what to expect today, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. Well, I hope, I hope. <laughs> yeah, just gonna get fucking messy. I think it's it looked pretty cool. I don't, I, I don't think I've ever seen somebody do that. I just normally talk a lot of shit, so yeah. don't mind me. Um, I have confirmation that the doctor says that we're all good. There's nothing they can do for me. I will live a long and uh, healthy life. Yeah. Poor one, but healthy. All right, let's get at it. A classic cliche. We're on the run. This is what we waited for. Okay guys, so if you're running out of ideas, you go to Penny Tits, Pinterest, Pinterest, I mean. Oh yeah, no, that's the one I was looking that's at. One. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's probably, I don't know. Yeah, probably something like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the one I want is like literally somebody kneeling down and just sh throwing a shit ton of powder, like on the floor type of thing. That's pretty cool, that's the other one that I thought of, just throwing it in her face, yeah. And then, I've got one, I have my ballera ballerina, sort of like the Macarena, which is the ballerina outfit. Um, I can do this. I can actually do this. My hair is long enough. It's like get a zoom. Oh, there you see my hair is long enough. Cool, cool, cool. This is the one I want to do with my long hair. I don't know if I can see that, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's do that. My long hair can work. You want to ask the models over there? That put over there. I oh, know. I'm pretty sure he's going to be quite pissed off if I have to steal his uh, sticky and then uh, have a full of color. All right. Pink would stand out like a sore thumb. Yeah, I guess let's go pink. Besides when yeah, I look at your mouth and I see pink, I just fucking feel scared for my life. Asshole. I feel scared for my life. I'm pretty a fool. <laughs> Now looking back, 
Eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde A classic cliche, we're on the run This is what we waited Well done! Woo! <laughs> okay guys, I guess that's a wrap. I don't know if Andrew has any other photo ideas that he wants. Absolutely nothing. Okay, well we just heard I it. I don't so. mind throwing powder in my face. Uh, you want powder in your face? I can do the same, I can take one for the team. Okay, I don't cool. have a beard, so... Uh, not gonna look as sexy, but yeah. Sexy. Okay, cool, so we're gonna get Andrew to throw powder in his face now. So guys, yeah, we are back here at home and you guys know the drill is back to that whole thing of I'm gonna just run down the shoot with you guys, just kind of run down how this came about, how this idea came about, how I took the photos and how I felt the experience was. So let's get into it. So I got like, we were on our way to another shoot, which I completely misscheduled. I completely got it wrong. It was the next weekend, not that weekend. So I was like in the car already going, oh, we got the camera gears packed, it's charged, everything's ready, we might as well go out and do something. I was like, I saw, I see a lot of these things on YouTube where people are just throwing powder around, taking photos of it, and I was like, yeah, let's try that, because I had no idea actually where to get powder, so I just went to the, one of the closest stores where I thought they have kind of just like mid, like big variety of crap, and I was like, fuck it, let's go for it, and I found these like, um, confetti popper type of things, but not really, it pops um, the, the powder, like, it's like, I don't even know what it's called, but yeah, it's, I should give, be able to give more information, but I don't even know what it's called, it's like this confetti popper with just like um, powder in it, so I kind of bought that and I thought to myself, okay, well, I could just cut this thing open, I don't have to pop it and just kind of take the powder out of it and just throw it around. Um, not as much powder as I thought was in there, but hey, eh, it did the job anyway, so it's pretty chilled. Yeah, next thing up, um, <clears throat> I'm actually very impressed with myself and that was actually really good video quality for what it was. It's normal, like it's a P20, I, um, I, Huawei or what, however everybody says it, I don't give a fuck. But yeah, it's a P20 and it did a really good job. I was actually very impressed afterwards. I had no idea while I was filming how it actually was going to look. So yeah, and yeah, sorry guys for the rest of the footage, every now and then the blurry thing. It's, um, I don't have that face tracking thing that most new cameras have. I, I'm shooting on a 6D. So, yeah, let's jump into some other things. Um, I kind of got this, like, I had this urge to go shoot because I bought myself a new 85, and it was, it's such a nice lens, the 85, it's the 85 L series 1.2, it's just such a nice lens, it's fucking sharp as nails, really, really happy with the purchase, and I just really wanted to shoot with it. And see, um, the comparison between that and my 1.8 um, ultrasonic motor one. So, kind of got, I uh, just wanted to give that, a, like, a check and see how it, like how it functioned, how it compared. And yeah, was very impressed with that. I ended up using my 7D mostly because obviously with all the power, uh, powder going, I wanted that higher frame rate uh, because the 7D shoots um, up to 10 frames a second. So I wanted to try that out. So let's get into the photo. So number one is that classic, just um, smack the powder in front of your face type of thing. And yeah, I just wanted to try something I've seen everybody do and I didn't have to think a lot about it, just to kind of test out how, test out the medium that I was working with, the powder, test out how it was going to flow. Um, this powder doesn't seem to actually like um, become very, uh, like a particularly, it actually just really disperses into air almost. It just, it's actual like, it's very like soft powder. So didn't get all the particles that I wanted, didn't get this like harsh, like sandy look that I was hoping for, but nonetheless, Colors were pretty decent. Everything looks pretty cool in this photo. I'm very, like, I've, I do like it a lot. So, yeah, that's number one. So, number two, number two, I just kind of thought to myself, 
Yeah, I didn't actually had an idea for a photo and we were in Bryanston Forest, which has got these big pine trees. So um, I found a pine cone and I was like, hey, let's put some powder in that and spin it around and see if we can get it to completely twist. But we had a lot of wind there. So every time it spun around, it kind of just dispersed all into one direction. But nonetheless, it actually came up pretty sick. I'm really happy with it. So yeah, that is number two. So number three, number three. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this for the thumbnail yet, but it's... Um, the one where Hunter's throwing powder into his face. Now he uh, took a photo of me doing the same thing. Um, his came out a little bit better because I like the fact that the powder kind of went in behind the glasses. So the glasses were peeking through in certain sections and it's really nice and sharp. So I really like the way it looked there. Um, compared to mine, mine was again a little bit more powdery, a little bit more dispersed in equivalent. So um, I preferred this one and it's probably going to be a thumbnail, but I don't know yet. And yeah. Basically, to get all of these photos, uh, you have to shoot at a higher shutter speed, and I never, I tried to not go below a thousand of a second. But um, yeah, some of them I did stupidly because I was jumping between filming and taking photos. So yeah. So yeah, guys, that is all for today, and hope to see you guys in the next video. If you did like this one, leave a big thumbs up. If you guys haven't already subscribed, you know where that is. Maybe even ring that bell icon, and maybe comment down below what you guys want to see me try out next because I'm. Just kind of experimenting my way through all of this and yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.